the heck did you do to the engine room? Look at this mess. It's a big old mess, but it's an organized mess. Because I have, I know where everything is. I have everything laid out by bank. So even odd bank right here. Dang, you really tore this engine apart. Yeah, everything. we did. We've done a lot of work off camera. And we've done a lot of thinking off camera. And I think we figured it out. So this right here was the problem child number two and we met up with a few of our um, engine builder friends and we had some discussions with a number of people but um, and we all kind of landed on the same thing but what happened was when we actually pulled the engine out of the car and started unplugging the harness we noticed that injector number two wasn't fully clicked in so if you can imagine what that would do going up a hill like in Mammoth, like going up that hill and just that level of load on the engine, it probably got really hot. So we, probably misfiring every once in a while. Mm -hmm. So we, we pretty much determined that was it. So while I appreciate everyone's comments and suggestions, don't worry guys, you're off the case now. We got it figured out. <laughs> and we're gonna put the engine back together perfectly once again. So um, the block is over at the machine shop, just getting cleaned up, honed out. We have the rest of the pistons here in this box. I'm just gonna take over to the guys over there. They can just mic them up if they wanna double check things. But yeah, so. The engine will be back together very, very soon. I'm just waiting on the block and a few parts, and that's it. We're gonna slam it back together, new bearings, probably new rings as well. Just be really thorough once again. So and the same pistons you're gonna put back? Same pistons, same rods. We have one new piston for cylinder number two, of course. CP Carrillo just sent it over to me with a whole new ring set, which is right in there. Mm -hmm. So the thing we had Kenny Duttweiler look at these pistons and he's like, you should just use those again. They look, they look fine. All the rest of the pistons were fine. So we're going to go ahead and use them again. Yeah. I trust Kenny over uh, <laughs> internet comments, <laughs> but yeah, so I'm going to run these over there right now. And uh, if you guys stick around, we have something really fun. I think you guys will dig it. So hang tight. Before we head over to West Coast Engine, I'm just going to make a quick stop somewhere because I owe those guys for so many things. They have saved my butt on many different occasions and I owe them a little treat. So let's do that first and then we'll head over there. Just picked up the goods. Let's take a look at these bad boys. Damn. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so hard not to dig in while I'm driving. Oh, okay, one last look. Okay, they're not for me, they're not for me. They're for Joe and Sal, not for me. Okay, I think I'll make it. Oh, but they're right there. Okay, no, I'll make it. Wow, it is gonna be a beautiful day here in California. I am so stoked. Look at this drive, oh my God. It's these exact moments, like I feel so blessed. I'm like out here in California driving a 1956 Chevy going to the machine shop, you know, doing engine stuff. Oh, just living the dream. Just pulled up to West Coast Engine and look, just for confirmation, I did not dive into the donuts. They're all still there. Just wanted to prove that. So let's go drop off these pistons and get on with the day.
pistons are dropped off, block is over here, so as soon as I get the call back, I'm going to come pick this stuff up, and then the engine can go back together. We're really hoping to have the car back on the road in just the next couple of weeks, so I'm really looking forward to driving the Tempest again, although this ain't too bad. 56 Chevy, the 5.3 and 60E, this ain't too bad. I'm gonna head back to the shop and get on with the real fun stuff today. Okay, getting right into the purpose of today's video. Right behind me here, all covered up, we have Danny's 1969 Slayer Camaro. And I'm gonna be driving it today. <laughs> So I've been avoiding driving this car for some time. Um, the only experience I have with it is kind of driving it just locally, really close by. And um, actually we did a video on that. So if you click up here, I'll link to that video as well. I think that was like my first or second time ever driving the car. But this is gonna be my first time taking it out on kind of the main streets, taking it in town and just getting comfortable with it. So why I'm so nervous is because it's a pretty powerful machine. It's got a uh, single turbo LS and a T56 Magnum. There you go. So basic 5.3 setup with H beam rods, forged pistons, um, some other goodies in there, but yeah, turbo charger and a six speed Magnum. Mm -hmm. It's been to 21 different states. This was my road trip vehicle and daily driver for a long time. I built it back in 2016. It's still going strong. And uh, she's going to get some uh, stick shift driving lessons today. Yeah, and how much power to the wheels? I think like 300 horsepower and something like that. 300? Yeah. Okay. Okay, sure. So the reason why I've been avoiding driving this car is because... I'm a little nervous on hills and such. I don't have a lot of practice with the car and I really need to learn how to drive it because, well, sometimes this is the only car available. So between Danny and I, we only own like classic cars, which you can see we got some tri fives and um, the Pontiac is currently being worked on. So there's times where this is like the only car available to go do parts runs or just errands around town. And like I said, I've been avoiding it. So today that ends, I'm gonna learn how to drive this thing in town and just get really comfortable with it so I could take this thing anywhere, anytime, it don't matter. So that's what we're doing. Perfect. It's gonna make it happen. Maybe do a few pulls. If you get comfortable enough. Let's do it. Okay. Let's do it. I'm gonna hold you to it. Okay. Move it all the way forward. Buckle up. Okay. You wanna hear it? are a little squeaky doing too many burnouts <laughs> standing on the brake Small hill here. It's so tiny, See, but at least there's 
there's nobody behind us. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to try and do it good practice. rolling back right now. Okay, ready? Yep. Well, it was kind of hardly a hill. I've stalled on it before. We need to go on a steep hill. I know where there's Like in one. a neighborhood. Yeah, I guess so. I've been driving it. Well, a little bit. Good <laughs> daddy. Mm hmm. So, Danny's got the fuel cell in the back here because he actually has the radiator and dual delta pegs down underneath. So, no gas tank, just a fuel cell here in the trunk. Such a mean looking car. So the car runs on 91 octane, and then uh, I have a methanol tank right here. So when the boost hits three or four psi, this turns on and squirts methanol into the intake to cool off the charge air. Gets the job done. Hell yeah! So we're just gonna fuel up and keep cruising. How much gas do you want in it? Mm, just enough to get by. <laughs> How far are you trying to go? I don't know. What are we doing today? Well, we gotta go to the gun store first. Yep. And then after that, uh, maybe we should head out towards the ocean? Yeah. Do a nice little scenic drive. Have you driven on the freeway yet? In this car? Yeah. I don't. I think so.
here too. It's like your first time driving this car and we put you straight on the freeway. I know. Second gear. Good job. We did it. We're here. It took us to the gun store. Now we're gonna go in. Danny's getting a little accessory. I, I gotta buy some BBs. <laughs>
Dang, did some burnouts here in the Vaughn's parking lot. Shoot. Causing a ruckus. <laughs> <laughs> okay, gun store, check. Freeway, check. Chirp the tires in the Vaughn's parking lot, check. Starbucks, check. check. What's next? I think we gotta drive on an incline. Take off from an incline. Okay. And then a couple full pulls. Maybe a little burnout, and then you'll be Slayer Camaro approved. Yeah? Yeah. Burn Slayer's trust now? Almost. Almost. Okay. So okay, let's go. Let's, let's go. go find a hill. Okay. Run somebody over in the parking lot. Check. Check. No. Okay, here she goes. She's gonna try to take off without letting the car. Nice. Nice. Very nice. That was good. Uh, we couldn't really find a steeper hill than this, but this will do for right now. Try it again. Do it again. You rolled back just a little bit, but let's see if you can do it a little sooner. Ready? <laughs> That'll do it. <laughs> that was perfect. I'm kind of cheating though, because I'm like just dumping it. It's all right. Okay, hill, check. Now I gotta do a pull on this straight road. Should be pretty fun, but I'm definitely nervous. So I don't see anyone coming. Let's do it.
car has been on PCH? This time she's gonna give it a little bit of throttle in first gear, okay. sec and second gear. Ready? Yeah. Oh, are you doing a burnout? You can. You won't. didn't stall it. Good job. Holy heck. <laughs> I did it. I did it. Finally. Well, we are now looking for a clutch sponsor after that. Yeah. I mean, that, that parking lot was a little rough, but <laughs> it was a little rough. Ain't nothing this car has ever seen before. That was so much fun though. I was really nervous. I was like really gripping the wheel. I probably looked really stiff, but 
It's just because I know this is like, this is Danny's car and like, it feels a little weird driving it sometimes, but man, it is the most fun car I've ever driven in my life. It's like, it has the power to do pulls. You could honestly just cruise it. It's fun. It's fun. I'm getting used to that clutch. Hey guys, look at you guys. We're bonding. Still in here. After being so like afraid of it or like avoiding it, now I feel like, you know, just go do errands in it. Yeah. Freaking go chirp the tires at Vaughn's or like <laughs> So I wasn't bold enough to do a burnout today, but you will be seeing that in a future video on Gnarly Speed Shop. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Okay, here's that last pull that she did. We could see from the log. That first gear here, throttle position was 35% in first gear. Second gear got up to 50%. And then in third gear got up to 52.4. And then in fourth gear we got up to 54.7 percent throttle out of 100. Shoot, look at me. It's not bad. I mean, if that even wasn't its full capability, I don't want to know. Like, shoot. That was only 150 horsepower. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and that's cool too. It shows you on the maps here, like, you see it moving? Sorry guys, that's, the glare sucks. Yeah, that's the pool, the pool there. That we're in the farm fields. That's an aerial view. And as you can see, we moved the log over. This is so cool. It shows you where you were at on the map. That cool that's a way cool we could look at our air fuel ratios too nice